My name's Taylor. I'm a co-pilot with Drew. I'm Drew. I'm my co-pilot co Taylor. Co-pilot, co-pilot. I'm Wes. I'm one of the drivers. This is my co-pilot, uh, Aaron Selden. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Aaron Selden. I'm yours for a living. We got invited to this uh, lovely extravaganza that we put together. Uh, I think you're taking a little too much of the spotlight. Okay, <laughs> so I'm talking next. I'm, in. I'm Ryan. I'm a driver. This is Jeff Schultz. He's my, uh, I guess, co pilot navigator. I didn't know we were flying airplanes, but uh, my navigator. <laughs> you got me. It's a great group effort. I mean, it takes. it's not just one person, it's a, it's a team effort to put it together. Uh, you know, I have ideas, or he has ideas, or, or Ryan, and then one of them get x and we'll if, if you're not here, the idea gets 86, but if you are here, then the idea uh, gets Most it. of the time, my ideas get 86, but it's all cool. I'm, I'm cool with that, But right. the roof turned out really cool, so. Yeah, it did. I'll give you that. I like it. It's about 90% of what I like. I think it would have been 100 if I had my way. But it's you all have good. to be here. You're playing, I, I think you're here. playing golf, or you're in Vegas, or... You're buying like a yacht. It was the day after Thanksgiving. I think I was playing golf with my family. Sorry. Oh. Either that was skydiving. One of the two. Okay. I don't know if they like love me. Family's important. Doing <laughs> but you ended up, so we got together, we figured out a plan, and then you said, I've got this perfect guy um, that needs to be here, and that's when Taylor came in. Yeah. So what do you think, Taylor? Let's see. Uh, the first time Drew called me, he said, it's, you know, we're working on this car. Uh, he just kind of shot the idea past me. So I kind of had a couple nights to think about it, and he called me back and said, hey, would you like to be part of this? Um, I was just honored to be invited to be part of the team and to be part of this experience. And I truly think it is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, so I, of course, said yes. <laughs> we cut you off earlier. Oh, well, you, you dubbed me as being your navigator. Which I was, you know, uh, kind of when thrown back in my seat. I'm like, man, this guy is trusting me with navigation <laughs> skills, and my skills at navigation are pretty bad. <laughs> Any, you know, electronics. I didn't know that still right now. Yeah, yeah exactly. Great pick. Great pick. You know, great pick, great pick. Yeah. Uh, we might need to rethink. Uh, luckily, uh, I can read the stars. Not, so. so as long as we're racing at <laughs> okay. night, we're good. So, I'll make sure that's all you do is drive okay. night legs. No, it was a very humbling uh, invite to, to be around a, a group of guys that are, you know, uh, you know, 100% in to uh, to make all a lifetime achievement and a dream, and you know, for everybody, this is the ultimate off-road race in in the, in the world. So, uh, you know, that's a that's an awesome, going to be an awesome experience, whether we make it or break it. It doesn't it doesn't matter. So. Win as a team or lose yeah. as a team. All yeah. the way, we're going, we're going down. So you got the uh, the problem is I couldn't be a navigator because I can't I can't give control to somebody. I didn't like else. riding with your ass either. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's horrible. Yeah. Well, hey, that will also be a learning experience yeah. for me because I'm definitely a Type A person. Just be like, oh yeah, I guess you go left here. Go left here. Wes was. We first bought this thing. We uh, we took it out and I think Wes drove it first. Or I drove it first. I don't know who drove it first. I think I, I think I drove it first. Wes got there and goes. I ain't riding with you. No. So forget that. I'm not a navigator. It's a different. I don't like. I. I think it's pretty awesome. People would be a navigator because I. I couldn't be a navigator, and I don't it's even know if feeling. I'm gonna be like a good driver or not. But whatever. But I mean, when you give control over to someone else, that's it's just night and day different. And so, I, you know, Aaron's along for a ride, man. He's always been one of those guys that just hop in and do whatever. And I'm not like that. I. I, I feel like I need that steering wheel to, to, to move me along. But yeah, you know, giving control to somebody else. And, when West drove, I said, I'm not a navigator either. I'm definitely a driver. I don't need over in the seat. It's a, uh, just a different experience over there. I just can't really. What's your take on navigation, Taylor? I mean, you, I know you trust Drew. You guys have been. Well, I have, I have a terrible sense of direction. But <laughs> She's our awesome. think, I think I can overcome that with technology. Two, two, out, of, two out of three. Two out of three. Two out of three. Out of three. <laughs> All our navigators said. Um, anyway. Well, we may get lost, but we might figure it out. I'm, I'm just going to tell Drew. Now. Follow that, uh, follow that, sp <laughs> that dirt, <laughs> that dust. There's follow a lot of it. Yeah. There's a lot of it. Now, yeah. I think for me, uh, getting into this whole deal, you know, I've been, been off-roading, I've raced in my life, been around motorsports, and you don't really take it all in when somebody asks you, hey, they invite you, and you're humbled by that, you're like, well, what am I supposed to do? Where do I fit in? What's my, 
you know, you know what I mean. What's my niche to make this puzzle? Right. You know, and that's that's probably the most. You know, and get get be able to do this today. You kind of get a, a, a sense of where you're supposed to be and what you're supposed to do. No, it's been cool having everybody over here. It's been awesome. Because all the stories that we've heard over the years, I mean, you know, those stories grow and they change about, you know, this little, you know, bambino running out in front of you, you know, all, all these wild stories you hear. So, you know, that's going to be real interesting when you get down there. Is it, is that all fabbed up over the years or is it, is it, you know what I mean? Is it just reckless abandonment down there? Or it's kind of a uncharted territory. It looks like which, escape from New York to me is whatever. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's just holly and free for all. That all sounds pretty kind of pumps it up. I think a it's going to be somewhere. sensory overload. I really think yeah. it's just going to be. I mean, by the time we're if we if we can get to the finish line, I think we'll be gassed. I mean, it, it, when all the emotion of it comes together, because like my son and I watched Gust of Glory last night, you know, and it was just and I watched that with like this anxiety, anticipation, like damn, dude, this is like serious. Are you tearing up right now? I, I, <laughs> I drew one away from my eye. <laughs> oh man, it. we finished. Was, was oh, I'll ball like balling. a baby. Yeah. <laughs> Taylor and Jeff and Aaron, what's, what's the most, what's the thing that concerns you guys the most about being in there? I mean, one thing or two things that jump out at you. You know, yeah. just with, with, with kind of what, how wild and crazy stuff is down, down in Mexico and, and, and that's probably the only thing to me that really bothers me is the, uh, you know, you got, you got all your ISIS and all these whole drug drug cartels. I mean, you're you're right down in the mix of all that. And, you know, here we are. We roll in, and, and we're we're trying to put on a show and uh, treat black dreams. And you know, it, you don't want to get pro in a crossfire. You know, yeah. You're trying to accomplish you know something, and you're not there for power or money or you know. That, that's probably the most what is that uh, nerve wracking deal? Because you don't know what you're. I've never been to Mexico because it's so. Volatile, you know. Yeah, you know, it's. What about you, Jeff? Uh, I'd say the STDs. <laughs> no, the. Uh, I really, I'm not. Um, but you're married, right? Yeah. Okay. So, just kidding, so, just over there. so when, uh, when your wife's watching this yeah. documentary, I'm just kidding. And you wind up uh, with one on that side, <laughs> you're really. We know where you got it. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm, uh, I honestly, I, uh, I don't think I'm really overly concerned about anything. I mean, we. I, you know, we, we like travel a lot as a hobby, you know, our, one of our hobbies is traveling a lot, so I think, just, and you made the reference earlier today that, you know, we go to a bad part of Dallas, so I think there's bad sections of every city, every town that you can go into, um, and it's, you know, knowing you just got to keep your head on your shoulders and, you know, not put yourself in situations where, uh, you know, it's, it's likely for something to happen, um, so I'm, I'm really not too concerned about anything, I guess the biggest thing that concerned me is, you know, having a seven-month-old daughter, if there was some sort of catastrophic accident that would be my daughter without a father would be, I guess, the biggest thing that would be on my shoulders. Probably my biggest concern is my stigmatism in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's hard to see at night. And you know I'm legally blind, right? <laughs> <laughs> the, he reads the navigation with yeah. Braille. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, true, true. Garment true. It feels like you need to go right. <laughs> I can't really tell that that's a right or a left symbol. Uh, I think the cultural differences also worry me because I uh, haven't spent a lot of time in Mexico. No hablé español. No hablé muy español. Almost a dice, flip my car over. <laughs> I don't know. I guess my biggest fear that I have is uh, I just want to be safe. You know, driving the car, you got not only your life at hand, but you got your navigator's life at hand. And you know, I don't want to do something stupid. That's gonna, you know, cause him any harm or cause myself any harm. You know, we, like Jeff said, we all have families to get back to, and we all got other jobs. This is not a, we're not a, we're not a race team that just does racing all the time. You know, we have life jobs that we all have to get back to, and uh, you know, we can't get injured, we can't get hurt, we got to take it easy. And uh, I'm more worried about, you know, just doing something stupid and causing one of us to get hurt. So that's the, that's my biggest worry. You know, dealing with the people and uh, the the environment. You know. I think that you know I've been to Mexico enough and been down. I mean I don't think it's too bad. I uh, I don't know any Spanish, but uh, uh, I can definitely you know give some hand gestures or use my iPhone and say uh, translate. I, my my concern is tearing up the car and letting the team down. I mean I, I, ultimately, and then I think probably parallel with that. I don't want. I mean I, 
I'd hate to hit somebody down there, and I know I can see that happening because you know my son even brought that up last night. He goes, well, "What happens when you're like when you're going 80, and what, what if the car wipes out and hits the people?" And then you go, "God, well, he's right," you know. Yeah. So those are probably my my most concerns. I'm not I'm not worried about safety being in the car because I really feel I really feel comfortable with what we built. Um, but like I said, at the end of the day, my two things are. I mean, a lot of people put a lot of time in this, and I'd hate to let anybody down. And, and secondly, I'd, I'd hate. I mean, God forbid, I take somebody's life, and that's a, and that's a real. Opp you know, that's a, not an opportunity. That's a, <laughs> Yay! Terrible, terrible. <laughs> it's a terrible opportunity. Oh, no, but it's, it's a real fact, it seems like, from what I've seen. So, those are mine. Possibility. Possibility. Oh, there you go. Cameraman job here, I don't know. I know this one thing for sure. 11 months and it'll be here and it'll be, it'll be over. I mean, it'll be like that. It'll be coming back. Like, man, two weeks is going to fly by like two days. It's going to be like we get there and we're gone and it'll, it's going to go by like a blur and, you know, it'll be a in our head and our memories, that's what we want. Memorize and have good memories for this day. Get through with everybody and we'll, yeah. save and have a good time. Hey right, guys, anything else? Anything else? We want to wrap up the uh, team. Uh, and thanks for all of our wives. Yeah. yeah. Awesome thanks job, Aaron. That, 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 yeah. that was a nice fight. That's a nice Yeah. on that one, buddy. In fact, we were that's talking about that earlier, how much we love y'all. Thank yeah. you. Thanks for the pizza. Yeah. yeah, yeah we like the cold visions. drinks. <laughs> Definitely. Moral support, it's always good. Go rookie. Thanks, guys. Peace out.